Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about the brand new, very exciting Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I purchased the shade Medium and I purchased the shade Tan. So I wanted to try these out and I wanted to see what the difference was if you guys want to get an idea of what my foundation shades are they are listed down below um, but i personally felt that tan was a better match and a better fit for me however medium does work beautifully it just requires a little bit more of a effort to build up if you guys want to see what my thoughts are on these products as well as the brush then let's go all right guys, so today we're gonna to be using the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers and this is in the shade medium. This is what this shade looks like. And we also have tan. As you guys can see, tan is definitely a little bit deeper, uh, more of a warm bronzer, whereas medium is more of your neutral. So we are going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer brush, which looks like this. I'm going to use it with a shade medium. So I'm going to dip into this. This brush is really nice. So as you guys can see, it definitely did add a little bit of warmth. Medium is more subtle, um, just very soft, which I don't mind. And I'm going to clean the brush off and I'm going to take tan. So as you guys saw, I didn't need to go in with a lot with tan because it is very pigmented. It's slightly darker. Um, whereas with medium, I could definitely build up. So just to even it out, I'm going to take a little bit of the tan shade and then just blend that into where I applied medium. All right guys, so this is what the bronzer is looking like. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that tan shade and just build it here. I don't think I need to add any more to this side. I want to take a little bit across my nose. It's so smooth. All right guys, so I am back and this is what the final look is. Um, I have to say that I really enjoyed this powder, but I'm a huge fan of her airbrush powder. It's one of my favorite powders. And um, when I saw that she was releasing something, I really thought that it was going to be this size. And I was just kind of like, Ugh, $55 is a lot for this product, but as you guys can see, the compact for the bronzer is significantly bigger than the airbrush powder. So for $55, you are getting 10 grams of product, which in comparison to other powders like the Marc Jacobs powder, you are paying more for less product. Um, however, this bronzer claims to have hyaluronic acid and skin um, skincare benefits. This is also claiming to use new flawless technology inspired by the air smooth as silk pore blurring effects. I don't have pores on my cheeks so I can't tell you guys that it blurred any pores but I can tell you that it looks very smooth. It looks like I don't have any powder on or any bronzer. It is definitely a beautiful lightweight and very finely milled bronzer. Um, it says that it hydrates with hyaluronic acid so that the skin appears softer and smoother in seconds. It has smoothing silky mica treated with amino acids to impart a silky smooth long lasting feel on the skin. Um, it is blurring and soft focusing because of silica. So it has a very rich velvety texture and reflects light for a soft focus effect. I would say that you can't detect it. Like it is, you definitely see that my skin is more bronzed, but you cannot, you can't see where the bronzer was placed. Like it just looks very blended and smooth. And it says it has magical micro spheres for increased payoff and an elegant silky texture. It is definitely silky. It does feel very soft and buttery, but I wouldn't, I don't know about magical spheres. 
Um, the other nice thing about these is that you are going to be able to buy the refill at some point. It has this little hole in the back where you'll be able to pop out the pan and just buy your pan so that you don't have to continue to pay the $55 to repurchase the full compact. So my guess is that they released these bronzers without um, the actual refillable pan because they want to sell their compact, right? I ended up getting. So I bought medium and tan and I'll show you guys the difference again. This is medium and this is tan. Medium is definitely more neutral, warm, and as you guys can see, tan is more warm. I, my preference, and I'm an NC40 in MAC for reference, if you guys want to see what my other foundation shades are, they will be listed down below. Currently, I have on the Charlotte Tilbury foundation in 7.5 warm. Um, I would go with the tan. I felt like the tan had definitely more payoff. I didn't need to use as much product as I did with the medium. However, I can use a medium and I think that on a day where maybe my foundation might be a little bit darker, then I could use something like medium just to kind of add more warmth without necessarily making myself look darker. So I was able to build these. Um, as you guys saw, I did several layers of the medium. My skin did look more bronzed but it wasn't the same as when I went in with tan. Tan added more warmth, I needed less product, so I would be going through the tan way slower than I will be with medium. I do like the idea of having medium, for example, if I wanted to maybe add a little bit of a contour to my nose, because the shade is softer, it's not as dark, but it does deposit color. So I'm just doing that now to show you guys. It is a really nice bronzer. It does definitely deliver um, a smooth finish. It is a beautiful, finely milled bronzer. I don't know how much the refillable um, pans are going to be, but I would hope that they are much less than the $55 you're going to spend on a compact. The compact feels the same as her powder. Um, the only difference is obviously this looks like a shell. It has you know, these ridges, um, it does have a heavier weight than this. This feels very lightweight. This does have, you know, more of a heavier weight to it. She does give you a beautiful large mirror. I mean, the compact is beautiful. I, I love it. I think it's stunning. It goes very much in hand with all of her other products and the quality of the product that you are getting is beautiful as well. So I'm going to wear this. It is now, 11:54 a.m. and I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day. I'm going to do another layer of this. This is the medium. The other thing I'm going to quickly comment on is the brush. The brush is a really nice rose gold tin outer shell. The brush is very soft. It feels really luxurious. It feels soft. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel flimsy, which I was worried about. It does have a nice amount of softness and density, which allows you to really blend and deposit color. Um, I would say that if you have a brush that you like already, you don't need to get the brush. I personally got it because I wanted to use it with the bronzer. I also wanted to see what her brushes were like. I don't own any Charlotte Tilbury brushes. And then I figured that this would be a great product to carry with this. I This is a powder that I carry in my bag, in my backpack. Like this is a powder I like to always have on deck and I don't have a brush for it. I typically use a sponge that I keep in a little baggie so it doesn't get dirty, but I like the idea of having something like this. So if you have a bronzer brush that you love already, you do not need this. Um, you can use whatever you'd like. I'm sure that the product will still perform the same. So if you guys want to see how this wears throughout the day, and if you want my final thoughts, then let's go. Hey guys, so I am going to be doing my final check-in because I've had this on for some time, but it's now 6.30 p.m. And I have to say that I really love the way that this bronzer has worn. Um, it is very soft and pretty and as you guys can see the pigmentation is still there here my son licked me <laughs> so i have a patch of makeup that's missing 
but I have to say that overall this um, bronzer looks very natural very soft it hasn't lost any pigmentation it still looks just as smooth and as soft as it did when i first put it on so so far i would have to say that i very much recommend this product to you guys if it's something that's within your budget and i like it in comparison to other bronzers that i do love what i find is that this bronzer is so finely milled and so soft that it really does look airbrushed on your complexion it just looks very smooth and seamless like you can't really tell where the placement is other than the fact that you just have this really pretty like bronzy hint of color um i i really do love it i have no complaints i'm very happy with this product and i'm excited to see what else the brand comes out with because while she is a popular brand and very well known if you look at her line i think that she puts out products when she is very confident in a product and when she feels like it, she has perfected it and then what i find with this brand is that once they find a product or a formulation that they love and that they see that is being loved by its consumers they build upon that so this isn't a brand that's constantly putting out new releases or new products. Like this is a brand that really thinks about what they're putting out, makes sure that they perfect it and that they love it before releasing it to their consumers. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.